playing with numbers so this in this chapter i'll explain you complete information about this chapter especially for class 8 icc students so before going this chapter uh, let me show you one website here you can see in link in description below also so in this site you will find out all the subjects informations at the same time chapter wise question bank and test papers so all the model papers are available for free of cost so you can directly download and you can go through for cbse icc even isc students also so uh, in case if you do not do subscribe please subscribe this because we will upload the videos only which are related to the education especially for children so let us uh, start the topic now playing with numbers so numbers in generalized form so how we can write number in generalized so in generalized form how we can write the number so a number is said to be in generalized form if it is expressed as the sum of the products of its digits with their uh, respective place values so you have studied already regarding place value for example I am taking 196 so here 6 is the units place and 9 is tenths place and 1 is hundreds place right now a number is in generalized form that is we can write as a sum of the product of its digits with their respective two place values so that means actually 1 9 and 6 so 6 is a units place so into 1 9 is in tens place into 10 1 is in hundreds place so 1 into 100 this all if you add again should get 196 so that is we can write in generalized form so two digits three digits any number of digits we can take the same for example 89 so i can write 8 is in tens place so 8 into 10 plus 9 into 1 so 9 into 1 is 9 only so we can write 8 into 10 plus 9 because 9 1 is a 9 this is nothing but generalized form now how to write two digits three digits similarly now this is a 196 is three digit number 89 is two digit number any number of digits also we can make as according to the place value place value only we need to take 9864 8002 960 now these are the numbers i'm writing in generalized form now so this is nothing but 9 is in the place a uh, ones tens hundred then thousand so nine into thousand plus eight is in the place value of hundreds so eight into hundred and plus six into ten then plus four so four into one is a four only similarly eight thousand two so eight is in thousands place plus now this both are zeros so 0 into 100 is 0 and 0 into 10 also 0 only. so directly you can take next to 2 into 1 ok 960 9 is hundreds place plus 6 into 10 so 6 is in tens place plus 0 into 1 so that is 0 itself so if any zeros are there you can neglect that place value because if a number is multiplied by 0 we will get again 0 only. Okay. now if we'll get now this is number if you take numbers now apart from numbers if they are given variables for example units place is x and tens place the value of tens place is y so the number so particular number we can write we should not write x y okay if you write x y or y x that is wrong because x y is nothing but x into y so units place is x into 1 and y is in tens place so 10 into y so if you simplify 10 y plus x is the particular number with this given values clear right units place x tens place is y 
So 10y plus x is the number, the value of number. In the place of x and y, you can take any number, any digits you take, you will get the number is same according to the given digits. For example, take uh, three letters. Let A, B, C are continue are respectively units, tens, hundreds place. Tens and hundreds place. So we can write hundreds place value C. So hundred into C is hundred C plus tens place is B. So ten B and units place is A. So 100C plus 10P plus A is nothing but the particular number. So this is the way we can write the any given values. So all, every digit is from only 0 to 9. 0 to 9 only we can take the digits. Fine, let me uh, explain some ex uh, questions which are related to the number playing with numbers. How it will come? Okay, I'll write question here. In two digit number, in two digit number, the units digit, the units digit is three times the tens. Digit and the sum of is twelve. So find the numbers. Find the number. So particular number we need to find out by following this rule. So observe here. Two digit number so that is only tens and units so unit digit is three times the tens digit so we need to take some variables so let so I'm taking let the tens digit is X let's tens digit be X and units digit. I'm taking some y. So as explained previous, we can write the number. So the number is equals to tens digit is x. So 10x plus y. Right? So this is the number now. But condition unit digit is three times the tens units digit is 3 times the tens digit so units digit is y so from condition units digit is 3 times so 3 into tens digit that is x this is one equation and sum sum is nothing but addition so sum of digits is 12 so sum of the digits is x and y both digits tens and units the sum is 12 so these two if we solve we'll get x and y values separately. Okay, just substitution method I'm doing. Now y is equal to 3x. So in the place of y, I'm substituting this 3x. X plus so y is equal to 3x. So 3x it is. This is equal to 12. This is from equation 1. So 1 comma 2 x plus 3x is a 4x is equal to 12. So x is equal to 12 divided by 4 that is 3. So units or uh, tens digit is 3 now. So 3 value x is equal to 3. But your question is y is equal to 3x. But y is equal to 3x. So y is equal to 3 into x value 3. So y is equals to 9. Clear? So units place is 9 and tens place is 3. 
so that number we need right so as we discussed number is 10x plus y so number is equals to 10 into x plus y okay 10x x is 3 and y is 9 so 10 into 3 is 30 and this is 9 so 39 is the required number hence required number is so 10 into 3 plus 9 that is uh, 39 One more question. The sum of digits of two digit number is 11. Just uh, two, three questions I'll explain you first. The sum of digits of a two digit number. Number is 11. The number obtained on interchanging its digits is 27 more than the original number so original number then find the original number so original number value we need to find out now So condition you see sum of the digits of two digit number is 11 so this is one sentence so if i take x and y are 10 and units place so x plus y is 11 then number obtained on interchanging its digit is 27 more than the original number so interchanging word came that means tens place becomes units place and units place becomes tens place so first condition so solution for this sum of the digits is 11 so i am taking let 10 is x and y uh, units digit is y tens place x and units place is y so according to first condition x plus y is equal to 11 right now the number obtained on interchanging obtained on interchanging generally number is equals to 10 into tens place and plus 1 into units place so that is 10x plus y so this is the number Interchanging number is so if I will do interchanging this number, just places will be changed. So tens place becomes units and units place becomes tens. So that is 10y plus x. Right? For example, if the number is 64, this if I interchange it becomes uh, 46. So like this. Now interchanging number is 10y plus x. So you according to the second line condition. The number obtained on interchanging its digit. Its digit is 27 more than the original. So I can write from the statement. Number obtained on interchanging. So this is from second condition. Number obtained on interchanging. So that is 10y plus x. 
now this is 27 more so this is equals to 27 more means plus 27 27 more than its original number so original number is 10x plus y okay, this is the condition clear this is interchanging number this is original number so interchanging number is 27 more 27 more than this original number original number is 10x plus y just we need to solve this second equation for this take all the x terms on side 10y plus x interchange this side minus 10x minus y is equal to 27 okay x minus 10x is minus 9x and plus 9y because 10y minus y is plus 9y is equal to 27 <coughs> so first equation is x plus y is equal to 11 now if you take 9 common let be minus 9 common then x minus y is equal to 27 so you can cancel 9 ones are 9 3 is so minus if you shift this right side then that is x minus y is equal to minus 3 because minus of x minus y is equal to 3 so x minus y is equal to minus 3 now this is second okay first equation is x plus y is equal to 11 now these two equations now x plus y is 11 and x minus y is minus 3 so two together you can write and do elimination method now first equation is x plus y is equal to 11 second equation is x minus y is equal to minus 3 so by doing addition we can cancel 2x is equals to 8 so x is equals to 4 x plus y is 11 so if x is equal to 4 then you will get the value of y also y is equal to 11 minus 4 so 11 minus 4 is 7 so that number is they are asking original number so original number is 10x plus y so hence required number so required number is 10x plus y that is 10 into x is 4 plus 7 so 40 plus 7 that is 47 fine so this is the answer 47 is required number according to the question so we should make the condition clearly then we need to try to solve the problem so I will give you one more question Okay, we'll do one problem we'll solve from the three digit number. In a three digit number, Hundreds digit is digit is four times the tens tens digit. While the units digit is So units uh, digit is rise the tens digit. Also the sum of its digits. 
is 16. So find the number. So two conditions, total three conditions. There is a three digit number. Hundreds digit is four times the tens digit and units digit is thrice the tens digit. Okay, these two conditions are depending on tens digit only. So if you observe, hundreds digit is four times the tens digit. So it's depending on tens digit. While units digit is also three times the tens digit, even though depending on tens digit. So let us take the tens digit is x. Let tens digit be x. So I am taking tens digit is x. Then according to the given conditions, we can write hundreds digit as well as units digit. Then hundreds digit is four times the tens. So four times that is four into x because all tens is x. So 4x and units digit. So units digit is uh, thrice. Thrice means three times. So that is equal to 3x. Okay, simple sum. Now final condition is sum of its digit is 16. So sum of the digits is 16. So we need to add all to make it as 16. Therefore un x plus 4x plus 3x is equal to 16. Now this is 5 plus 3, 8x is equal to 16. So x is equal to 16 by 8. So x is equals to 2. Now 2 we got, but 2 is a tens place. Right? Now the conditions. Therefore, tens digit is equals to 2 then hundreds digit is equals to 4x so 4 into 2 that is equal to 8 and units digit is equals to 3x that is 3 into 2 is equal to 6 so we know tens place hundreds place units place then the number is therefore the required number is equals to 100 into 100 uh, digit value is 8 and 10 into 10 digit is uh, 2 plus your digit is 6 so 100 plus 20 plus 6 sorry 800 plus 20 plus 6 so 826 so 826 is the required number So this is the way we can solve the problems from the conditions. We need to generalize the for, uh, number first, then we need to solve according to this. Okay, next I will explain you the divisibility rules. All the divisibility rules which is useful for class C8 silver, I will explain.